All right, make another quick video here about this Holly EFI on the 66 Corvette today. So what I've been trying to do here is code the computer to where when the AC comes on, it'll activate the cooling fans. And then I wanted to have some custom controls in order to kill the AC above a certain throttle percentage, below a certain RPM, and above a certain engine temperature. Um, it, the, the global files that Holly gives you doesn't come with any of that already loaded up, ready to go. So what we did here is I went to my basic inputs and outputs. I've got the idle air kick turned on. I turned off the pre-programmed AC shutdown because I need to use that pin later. And then I turned off one of the fan controls. This car is wired to where both fans are on the same circuit. So I just got fan one, turned the fans on for engine temperature. And I'm gonna leave this other one for later because I'm gonna write a custom attribute for that. Then we go over here, we can see electric fan two is not defined, it's turned off. A C kick is set up. Now, you have to have this icon here. If you don't have it, you have to go to the toolbox, add individual config, open the IO and open a base blank config. And then that'll put this icon here. When you click it, it brings you to the screen here. All of it's blank. Go to outputs, is what I did. So I made two new outputs. One's called AC cut. I have a relay that when it's energized will kill the AC and I have fans set to ground. I'm going to use, notice here I assigned the pin, the pin that would normally be used for fan 2 because it was available because it was turned off in the regular software. And then the other one here. Now, when you go to configure, this is why I wanted to use the AC cut here instead on the other screen because I can write a custom triggers. So here, input triggers is zero. And here, I wanted three different steps to happen. So when you click three, it'll bring up three windows. I selected this output activates with an RPM below 500. So it'll open the relay. I used a normally closed relay. Then I did activate when coolant temperature is above 223 and above 90% throttle. So if any of these items happen, it'll open the relay for the AC compressor. So whether it's on on the dash or not, it'll kill it. And then you gotta go to your pin map and go to your outputs and you'll have to put, drag it down here, the one I labeled AC fans to where electric fan number two normally would be. Now there will be electric fan two there. You just have to drag it off and get rid of it. And we got the AC cut up here. Now, still haven't got the car completely put together. I just twisted the wires together. But you can see, so I've got fan, two fan wires going to the same relay down here. That way I don't have to have multiple relays for the fans. Since both fans, again, are wired on the same circuit, they just run together. It's for ease of installation. But this here should make everything work the way you want it to. If you have any questions, shoot me an email.